Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Nexus RX 8500 850 watt silent power supply. What's included is the modular leads, power cord and the power supply. This 850 watt power supply has more than enough power even for high-end to hardcore computer systems. Now how is the wattage of this power supply determined? To understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 170 watts and the 12 volt is 760 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt rail is 24 amps and the plus 5 volt rail is 30 amps. There are four plus 12 volt rails and each one is 20 amps with a combined power of 63 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig will require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is rated above 80% at all loads. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has a PFC. A PFC or active power factor correction is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. A PFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has a PFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 plus, NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. This power supply uses Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Now let's have a closer look at this power supply. Even though this power supply is considered a high wattage power supply, it's short. So it should fit in all ATX cases on the market. It has a gloss paint finish and the housing is steel. They include a temperature controlled ultra quiet recessed 135 millimeter fan. So the hotter the inside of the power supply gets, the faster the fan spins. This fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling. So the power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cord connection and the power switch. This power supply has lots of leads, but the main motherboard leads, which include the 2024 pin, 8 pin, and 4 pin, as well as two PCI Express video card leads, are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed. The remaining are sleeved modular leads. Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mess inside the case and therefore increases airflow. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan.
There are many 850 watt, 80 plus efficient power supplies on the market, so what makes this one any different? Well, this power supply is compact, so it will fit in any standard ATX case on the market. Also uses Japanese capacitors and has a very quiet 135 millimeter fan. That's the key with this power supply. It is inaudible when it's inside of the case. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.